Good morning. We are next to another road at another bus stop. Um, I'm waiting for a bus <clears throat> that will actually take me back to Hathersedge um, where I'll switch to another bus and then I'm going to Bakewell today. So Bakewell, um, best, I mean probably best known for um, these little desserts they make called Bakewell tarts or Bakewell uh, puddings, they have lots of different names and there's kind of different permutations of them. Um, so I'm going there to walk around Bakewell, see the town. Um, it's definitely supposed to be a little bit bigger than these small villages I've been in. Um, so I also want to check out and see if they have any like rainproof outdoor gear because I'm still getting really wet. And the newest weather prediction is that it's supposed to rain basically the rest of my trip. So. I've lost my little rain cover, the pink one that I had for my day pack, and um, a pair of socks. So I definitely need to replace the socks, if nothing else. Um, and I know they have some outdoor shops there. So bagel tart, outdoor shops. And then there's also supposed to be a brewery right along the river, river there that um, I thought I might check out and see um, what they have going on there. So that's the plan for today so far. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, try to be a little fl flexible and see what comes our way. But uh, I'll take you along with me. the sun decided to come out it's very bright um that was lovely so if you're from the peak district thorn something thorn something i don't know great beer um got a banoffee flavored one for the road they didn't have any to try there but i mean it's so original you can't not right so grab that now i'm walking back to town this i'm like a little out of side of town maybe like a quarter of a mile no half a mile so I'm walking back to town. Um, as you saw earlier, I went to the original Bakewell pudding shop. Pudding in here is like a dessert. Um, so I went there and I got a Bakewell pudding, um, which is what you saw. It's kind of like a uh, pastel de nata, whatever that um, like super famous tart thing is from uh, Portugal. Um, it's good. Um, I don't think I need to seek it out again, but I, I didn't you know, not enjoy my experience. Oh, hey, look, storage for their beer. All that's beer. Um, next though, I wanna try a Bakewell tart, which is apparently a little different. So um, there's the original Bakewell Pudding Company, which is like what I saw showed you earlier. And apparently there's like disagreement over if that's the original one or if the Bakewell tart place is the original one. So I'm going to the tart one next. I think I'm gonna get some lunch there and then I'm gonna do a Bakewell tart. Just to try them both, you know? Get the full experience of Bakewell. Um, and then maybe walk around a little bit and probably head back. Um, there's this bike trail. It's only like eight and a half miles long. So if I did it out and back, I don't know. I'm also wearing jeans and Burks. Like I'm not dressed for to go on a bike ride and it's a bit long to walk. So I think I'm gonna skip that and uh, explore the town a little bit more. And then I think I'll probably head back to Castleton, um, chill, make dinner, have a fairly low key exploration of a town day. Haven't had that in quite some Okay, this place also claims to be the original bagel pudding, but they do not look open. So, sorry. That's 
the traditional bake well tart. And then those are like the fancy ones. I might need one of each. Well, I think I might have done everything there is to do in Bakewell proper. Um, spent about three hours here or so. Um, walked around, got the tarts. Too full from that pie to actually eat my tarts right now, so I'm gonna take them back with me. Um, the weather is doing okay. It's a little sunny here and then cloudy here and there. Um, yeah, like I think the only thing that I didn't do in this area is that Monsail Trail or whatever that like eight mile thing that I was telling you about. But otherwise, um, I think I've done everything and I'm really full of pie. So I think I'm gonna go try and find a bus to take me back to Castleton and um, have a chill afternoon. Here are the tarts, the iced and the traditional. Okay, I, d d digested, bleh, I digested lunch well enough to try those uh, Bakewell tarts. <clears throat> I think I like the traditional best. The iced one is just a little too sweet. They taste a lot like almond, like, um, what is it, marzipan or whatever? Um, <clears throat> that like almond baking flavor taste, um, which I like, but I know a lot of people don't. I also understand why people think it tastes like cherry because sometimes those flavors are very similar. So on the whole, glad I experienced it, glad I tried it. I don't know if I'd seek it out again. Needs chocolate. Well, I made it back to Hope on the bus. Um, the sun has decided to come out for like maybe the first time since I've been in the Peak District. Um, so I've decided to walk the like mile and a half from Hope to where I'm staying just on the outside of Castleton. Um, there is a footpath that you can take like through the fields, but apparently it has like, kind of like goes up into the foothills and there's like more of this than I want. I mean, this is less scenic next to the road but it's a sidewalk and I'm wearing work so you know maybe that's better I'm just enjoying the sun it's a nice temperature and I'm gonna head home and have a chill afternoon and um, that's about it probably for today tomorrow the plan is to go climb something so fingers crossed the weather cooperates Apparently there's some sort of festival the CES Euro Jam that's happening here like so you can see this building from so many different places in the valley. I've seen it from so many different peaks. No idea what it is, but it's clearly like not used anymore. Some sort of factory. Who knows? Maybe something having to do with mining. Look how pretty though. Okay, that CES thing is definitely um, some European version of scouts. You can kind of see the children behind me. I've been passing them all the way. They're probably mm, 12 and 15 is my guess. Um, yeah, but they're, they have like little outfits that they're half wearing. Um, that's definitely the 